not getting my hopes up, but it's swimming like a pompano. Holy mackerel. Good morning, fishing girl. It is about six in the morning down here at Flagler Beach. You see behind me, we got a shrimp boat out there. I'm gonna turn you around so you can see. It is almost sunrise. Beautiful out. But I'm out here early to try something different. I've got a uh, just one rod. Well, I've got two with me, but I've got one that I'm just gonna walk the beach and throw some artificial lures. Uh, the first thing I've got on here is a little popper. Uh, I don't typically use poppers, but I've heard podcasts and heard people talk about them. So I'm going to try with a popper. I've got a spoon. I've got some jig heads and some uh, Z-Man lures. And uh, I've got all kind of stuff <laughs> I'm going to try. this. The waves are calm, so it's a good condition for this type of fishing. I've got super light tackle with me. I've just got a couple things in a little string bag that I'm going to carry with me. I still have my tackle bag I'm leaving in the car in case I do need to come back and get something. But And then if all else fails and that doesn't work, I've got <laughs> my longer uh, Akuma rod with one sand spike and I'll, I'll just bring that down to the beach and we'll see what happens. So let's get out to the beach. Okay, we're walking down here right by the pier. Here's that way. We've got some people fishing. There's a few. It just opened, 6 o'clock, so yeah, people are fishing the trough right there, and that's where I'm going to start, it's right in that trough. This popper's not going to get very far, so I'm going to have to, <laughs> it's very, very light, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get in the surf a bit. even get it out there. This water feels nice. It's been about 83 degrees. Yeah, this thing's not gonna, I may have to use a different one. Barely out there. That's the thing with weight fishing. ocean. <laughs> really can't get it out there much. Yeah, well, I see what it does though. I haven't really used the popper, so yeah, it makes, makes some splashes. So, we just need to get it out far enough where there's fish. Switch to a spoon. I'm gonna come down here. Spoon's a little bit heavier. It's going to give me a little bit better distance. And it will sink to the bottom. The, the popper stays right up on the top. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice distance. I don't want to go too far away from my... Uh, cooler if I do catch something. I don't want to have to carry it like <laughs> a country mile. We got a little bit, a little more wave action than the other day, so this isn't, I wouldn't say perfect conditions for growing lures, but it's not terrible. I'm looking for a good spot to throw. I'm also keeping in mind there's people watching the sunrise, so I don't want to be like right in front of where they're watching the sun come up. Try to be mindful of the other people here at the beach and what they're here for. So just to show how oblivious people are, I was fishing right there. These people let their grandson or son come right up next to where I was fishing. And <laughs> the waves were pushing my lure right across the path of where this kid was gonna be running into the water. So I had to retrieve really quickly so the kid didn't get hooked. 
this washed up on the beach. Just happened to walk past it. Anybody know what that is? I am not sure. That's very interesting. Alright, so I don't have any live or dead bait with me at all. So I am putting some purple beads and sand flea fish bites on a double dropper rig, three ounce spud net sinker. Toss this out and we're gonna see what happens with this. And what I love about this rod is the tension that's on it. So you can always see, I mean, if that thing's straight up and down, then something is headed if it's slack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put more tension on it actually. hopes up but it's swimming like a pompano. Holy mackerel. <laughs> okay, I should have gotten my hopes up because that is definitely a pompano. Check this big boy out. <laughs> Did not see you coming. He is long. He's not fat, but he's long. Look at this guy. Fish bites and sinker guy beads. That's all it took. Oh, dude. Check you out. I think he's keeper size. We'll find out here. Fortunately, yeah, here we go. bring some sort of measurement. Alright. Oh yeah, you are almost 13 to the 4. You are keeper size. Alright. You're coming home with me. We're on. Feels like we're on something. Saw something hit it. Another pump, I don't want it to pop off. It's skating, it's skating on the surface there. Let's see what we got. Something tiny. What are you? Oh, I got a whiting. Little golf kingfish. Hey, dude. Dude. Okay, chill. Get you off of there. The next thing for you, though, is not much better than being on that hook. You're going to go see a buddy of yours. Oh, there. <laughs> that was really funny, actually. All right, let's get this guy. Well, we may not have caught our target species, which was anything that I would have caught artificially, uh, like flounder or sea trout, redfish, anything like that that we could have hooked with artificial bait today with uh, the lures and uh, throwing jigs and lures in the surf. But what we did happen to catch was a really nice keeper pompano and a little whiting. I didn't get skunked. We're out here having a great time first thing in the morning and that's what it's all about so if you enjoyed this video 
you can go ahead and push that like, push that subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time that I go live or if I'm out here uh, posting an adventure video. And until next time, we'll see you, fishing girl.